Hello and welcome. This is Mr. Erling and this is episode 14 of my Technical Bees server play using the Resonant Rise pack on the AT launcher. And today I'm going to start getting into Thumbcraft research and uh, using uh, the table there and the thermometer. So let's get right to it. Okay, first recipe, I got my thermometer. Um, also from the Thalmanomicron, you're going to want to have uh, some the glass files and ink sacks. Hmm. I think I need clay for that, but I haven't had any clay for a while. Just went to get some clay and you make some glass files like this. Uh, I'll make as many as I can. For now, and then I need a feather, feather or two, and some ink. So I'm just going to craft two of these, one for my desk and one for my backpack. Uh, I'll put the rest of the stuff away. Okay, one of these. Uh, Scribing tools I put on a desk, like so, and then we're going to have to fill it with paper. But that's not really where we want to start, so I'm going to make some paper for my own inventory. Okay, now that I have my thermometer, I'm going to do some research and I'm going to go quickly around and uh, see what I can start to get. So I know seeds and wheat, seeds, oh. No, I don't. <laughs> so, I'm going to not try and bore you with it, so I'm going to go around and um, do what I can. Okay, I'm kind of done doing that. I really couldn't figure out how to get the granum seed um, aspect. I think for sure you have to use Terra and Water, which gives you a Victus. And then you combine Earth and Victus together, which gives you granum. And then from there you can scan all the trees and the plants and the flowers and the leaves and pretty much anything plant based you can go crazy from there. But getting that first little thing doesn't seem to show up automatically from just scanning things in the world. So let's try our hand at some researches and see what we can get. Um, ooh, I already got one. A Nitor. So, uh, first of all, uh, let's see where the symbol is. It's right there. So, right now I'm all out of Lux. Um, so to figure out what uh, where Lux comes from, let's use our uh, Thaumonomicon look at aspects and Lux is air and Ignis so 
what we can do to get some more igna or lux is to combine a few of these. So I got three more lux um, research points. So then I can select lux again and voila, I got my research. So um, I'm going to speed through a few of these and see how I do. So, um, ooh, I got one for Arbor. Look how close together these are. Um, <laughs> I just got that one. No problem. Great Wood One Core. Um, let's try Herba. Nope. Ignis. Yeah, this is probably a night or one. Uh, select it again. It's got two, so it's the backwards L-shaped one. Um, select it again. Cancel. Um, these two gotta move out of the way. Now I gotta find out how to get this one all the way over. This one is super busy. Um, this should do it. And then reactivate. Ah, uh, no. Oh, this one's too far away. Oh, stinky. Well, another wasted point. I might need another um, research. Let's see what else I can add to that error. That didn't work. Saxum? No. Uh, Terra? No. Ordo? Metallum? No. Wand folk, I, I don't even know. Oh, maybe magic? Yeah. Let's go with this. And Let's try that. That should work. Activate. Oh, gotta activate the Ignis one again. One foci, like you. Um, let's try Ordo. That's a really close one. Which is basically... One thing was in the way. Trans vector interface. Interesting. Um, what do I have a lot? Saxum? Nope, I already tried that. Perdito. Ooh. I really don't like this one. One focus excavation. Um this is going to be fun. So I have two of these for Terra. Let's first of all get these out of the way. So it's kind of like a backwards or uh, wonky F. Oh, I had Perdito too, I forgot. Um, but let's move these first before I forget. So 
That one goes there. Um, Too many spaces. Okay, let's say see where Perdito is. Oh, that's not far away. Okay, uh, turn that one off again. Turn this one back on. Okay, Perdito, Terra. Uh, wait, is this one in the way? No. <gasps> oh, that one. Uh, this is the starting point. Crud. I have to go from here to here to these ones. I'm going to need another symbol. That one, Metallum. No. Ordo. No. Oh, what about this one, Potentia? Ignis. Air. Vacuous. Percantio. Oh, there we go. So we're going to need more Percantio. But for now, um... Uh, Perdito. These ones gotta be moved around. Since I got lots of them. That one's got to go in between. Yeah, but it's not going to be able to see that one. And that's too far away. Two spots. So I got to connect that one to that one. So we got to figure out where Percantio is. Um... Vacuous and Potentia. Let's see. Vacuous and Potentia. So with that, I got to get these per these Percantio symbols to go in between here and there, so I'd be really sad if I forgot which one is which. should be able to go there. Where's the other one up here?
Uh, I don't know. That should work. <gasps> this one, it's not connecting correctly. We gotta reactivate Perdito. I accept the lines here are now getting befuddled. There we go. You basically have to block these ones from connecting the wrong way and it makes one continuous line. So, one focus excavation. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, that's one I actually want to read about. So, um, from the basic one, uh, you make other ones from Arcane Workbench, Stick, it makes your basic wand. Uh, and then you can use the Arcane fo Wand Foci. Whoa. One focus fire. Oh, I see. I need a Perdito with the nether quartz, fire charges, and fire shards. Um, so the excavation one is an emerald, nether quartz, some terra, Perdito, and ordo in your arcane workbench. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I might be able to work, make that one. Just went out and I found another aura node. Um, what does it have? It's got the water aspect that I don't have from before. Water and Ordo. Can't get anything else out of this one, so I'll just keep looking. Found another aura node. Ooh, the F Ignis one. Drink it up, drink it up. There's another aura node inside of one of the. Uh, ooh, I guess the dark nodes are not understandable. That's too bad. Another aura node by. Oh, yeah. And that's got the terror aspect, which I don't have. Okay, just a little bit of time has passed in between. What I was doing was I made a mechanism enrichment chamber. I was able to make some, uh, uh, was it called mithril, mithril with, um, mithril dust and rubrican dust. And out of that, I smelted that and combine it to make a um, few interesting things like the Hadroth shovel, pickaxe, helmet, and legs. They seem to be better than diamond. Um, and I got like a really good enchant on this one. Efficiency 3, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, Shovel. So pretty amazing stuff and thanks to Themu for letting me use this and, uh, table again so let's try making this sucker for the um, what's it called yeah Wan Foci Patau so use most of the Terra let's just see what's on the wand here um cool 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 let's dig 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 with some one oh yeah the wand of excavation I'm not exactly sure how this is powered but I think it's using the terra aspect on my wand um, 
which is okay, I guess. Um, yeah. So that is that. Let's just see if it runs out if I dig some more. So, yeah, the terror aspect is completely worn out. Um, I think over there was the one that had terror on it. I just wanted to end today's episode. I went over to uh, Ra Raven Shield's house. And, uh, you know, the very first episode where I had to get some obsidian for my cow spawner. Well, anyways, uh, I'd like to repay the offer. Um, so in this chest, I put uh, the obsidian I owe uh, Raven Shield. Thanks for the obsidian, repaid with interest. And um, yeah, so today I was reading in the Skype chat, and Raven Shield was a little bit upset because the nether portal he made for this place linked up to my house well it's no fault of my own you know he just put it in the wrong place so um yeah so I just thought I'd give him this little reminder you know you should fix your portal the first time holy moly these trees grew fast check that out That's pretty cool. Yeah, so... Um... I just saw I'd point this out to you, Raven Shield. Right in there. Anyways, uh... I'd like to thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed my episode. This is a fun one, too. I like the view, so many gas and blazes everywhere. Is this too many signs? I could go on. I digress. You should fix your portal. You're welcome, Mr. Erling. Sincerely yours. Raven Shield's awesome. Help off a boat. <laughs> Anyways, just to show you it works. Ta-da! Uh, let me out. Let me out. Anyways, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.